Hi guys, and welcome back to the Carpenter's Arms. Uh, following on from our last video making pizza, we thought we'd do a little video today on how to make the dough. So let's get started. So to make dough, we just need four ingredients, three dried ingredients, plain white flour, salt, and instant yeast. And the wet ingredient is obviously water. What we need to do is put, after you've measured out, all the dry ingredients in a bowl and mix them together. Once the ingredients are thoroughly mixed, make a little well in the center and add in your water. And just turn it round until it makes a nice sticky mixture that you can turn out onto the table to knead. So I'll just gently flour the table, turn the dough out, flour my hands and start kneading the dough. The idea is to get all the gluten in the dough to strengthen, form strong strands so it doesn't tear. And what you need to do is keep turning this and kneading it for about eight minutes. If you're really interested in cooking with a wood-fired oven, check out a guy called Clive, the wood-fired oven chef. His videos are so professional, really entertaining. I've had a wood-fired oven for seven years and I've played with it and done this and that. And until I watched his videos, I really didn't know how to use it properly. So please check out Clive at the wood-fired oven chef. So now we're about five minutes in and it's starting to really come together. It's not sticking to me so much, it's not sticking to the table so much. Just keep moving it. So we take the bowl, stick a little bit of loose flour in the bottom of the bowl that we mixed in. What we're trying to do is just get a nice even stretch surface over the top with no creases and folds in it. Dump her in there, cover that in cling film, leave it overnight in the fridge. You could get away with doing this 8 o'clock in the morning if you're making pizzas that evening, but it's probably easier to make it the night before, stick it in the fridge. So yesterday I made some dough, put it in the fridge, so you can see the difference between freshly made on my left and this one which has been proven and risen just over 24 hours ago. Cover the table in a little more flour. Pull this out of the bowl and just get some life back into it because it's really cold. And the ideal weight for a single pizza is about 250 grams. These need another four hours proofing in a box with a lid on to stop them drying out before you roll them out to make your pizzas. And you want to try and turn the dough balls in on themselves and pinch the bottom so you're trying to trap all the air inside the ball stick it in your proofing box so don't forget to leave these out at room temperature for about four hours and then they will roll out lovely for you to make your own pizzas so that's how you make pizza dough I'm nowhere near as good as Clive the wood-fired oven chef but it'll taste pretty good if I can do it anybody can do it let us know how you get on making this please leave some comments please subscribe, please like. We'll do another couple of videos in the next few days and then we'll move on to doing something on the Bry or the Victorian range or one of the Weber kettles. I've got a couple of great recipes coming up so please stick with us. Cheers folks, bye bye.